What's going on everybody? It's Rick Rue here. Welcome back to another episode of Kingdom Hearts 2 Birth by Sleep. Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep final mix almost. <laughs> wow. Anyway, um, yeah, we landed here, um, in the Enchanted Dominion. Um, but supposedly, uh, Yen Sid has, um, he has warned Master Ericus, our master indeed, and said that, um, there are unverse invading these worlds, and, uh, we have to go over and protect them. Uh, so any, this man is thick. This is a Lizzo, he's basically the large body fat bandit. But as I'm very glad to see here, we got a critical impact. Um, if anything, in my opinion, this is the best one specifically for Terra. Like, out of all style commands, this is the best one. It's so strong. I did not mean to use critical impact already, so now I can use that. <laughs> but it's alright. Um,. I'm gonna go ahead and keep going. Uh, I want to. I really want to use these because I love using uh, critical impact. I just see this man beating me up. Okay, critical impact is so strong, man. This is why you can. I usually I. Okay, <laughs> I did not mean to do that again. Oh my god, I don't have area recovery. That's crazy. All right. The combat in this game, it's um, it's it's not stale. It's just kind of like stiff and slow at points. But uh, you know, I mean, well, that's just the beginning of the game. So whenever we get further into the game, then that's when um, things are gonna be a little bit more fast-paced. It's gonna be more fun, especially whenever we get to um, you know, further worlds. So that's gonna be fun. Um, I'm not gonna go ahead and use that because well, it might as well since you know we're about to live. Oh my God! Of course, you know what? Let's go ahead and do that. Ooh. We need seven more experience points to level up. That's crazy, son. Alright, so now we need six more. Alright. Die. <laughs> Alright. Strength increase and magic increase. That's cool. Alright, so now we're a little bit stronger in strength, physical attack, and magic. That's cool. Oh my god. Bruh. <laughs> I thought it. Ooh. Stickers. Okay, yeah, we should know what those are. Um. We don't got a crystal or anything? Yes, we got a fleeting crystal. Ah, hoot, hoot. Alright, anyway, uh, we're gonna go ahead and meld these two together, and I'm gonna go. Ooh. I am gonna go with the fleeting crystal, so that way I can get Shrike Wade, and not only that, get a tech case. So. Since we have this now, we have to equip it in order for us to, you know, have attack haste. What that does is, um, it ra it actually increases the reload It no, it decreases the reload speed on physical commands, physical attack commands. So as you see, the ones with the keyblade and load a lot faster than the uh, magic ones. But what you gotta know is that uh, certain uh, commands will load at a different rate. So let's say Stun Edge will, you know, load faster than Blizzard or no, like, or Quick Blizzard. So I don't know. Eventually, when we get, you know, newer ones, they're gonna be a bit. There's gonna be commands where they load slower or faster. So, yeah. That's why you wanna have attack case. Uh, fleeting Crystals are really great to uh, use if you really wanna uh, decrease reload speeds for commands and stuff. Anyway, um. We cannot die, <laughs> so we're not gonna do that. <laughs> okay, go ahead and use Neo Gravity. Basically, stun them. They can't do anything. They're basically lost in space, and yet I have not been able to successfully not use Critical Impact before. No! Oh my God! I meant to use Neo Gravity. That's right. We can go ahead and uh, love this bad boy. Up. Okay, cool. Alright, Ventus, your finisher is pretty cool, but I still think Aquas is better. Uh, Ar Terrace is kind of cool. His is kind of cool, but, uh, Arrow! Yes! Alright. I'm using all this right here. Let's go ahead and use the finisher right here. Ooh! That, look, that actually worked kind of good, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Alright, so anyway, we're gonna come over here. Get this chest! Because it is great. Alright. Uh, I don't think there's any more chests here. So, there's a chest right here, though. Go ahead and uh, pick up that bad boy. Alright. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead. And, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get rid of this D Link. Well, that's the cool thing about this game. Well, maybe. I don't know. Uh, every time you enter a new room, you actually. Um, 
it actually uh, reverts you back to normal, whether if you have a command style or you're in D-Link. Um, I can see it being good for D-Links, but not command styles, because it can be annoying whenever you're trying to, you know, build it up. Alright, man, dude, you can just whack those floods with, like, one hit, dude, that's crazy. And if you pause the game, you'll actually, um, exit out of your command, which is, uh, not fun. I hate that. Alright, that zero gravity killed that flood, so that's kind of funny. We'll go ahead and use this right here. One shot everything. Thank you. Any more? Oh my god, just some darkness. Let's, uh, get it. Oh, it doesn't look like darkness. This feels so familiar. Her heart is filled with light. Not the slightest touch of darkness. Just the kind of heart I need. For what? Imagine with me the most glorious of futures. Seven of the purest hearts, each overflowing with light. When brought together, they grant the power to rule all worlds. What do you mean? Why, that key you hold. The Keyblade, is it called? Where did you learn that name? That trinket is the only way to obtain the hearts. No more games! Where is Master Xehanort? Impudence will get you nowhere, child. If you wish to learn more, you must retrieve the heart of Aurora. But there's a chest right there first, so I need that. And why would I ever want to do that? It's not a matter of why, but of will. In your heart, there is darkness just waiting to be awakened. I don't know what you're talking about. Perhaps not yet. But I have power over sleep. And I can awaken what's inside you. Then you will be free to be who you truly are. Remember, the darkness lurks in every heart. Darkness is our foe. Would that we could be rid of it. You must destroy it. Push the darkness down. Give it no quarter in your heart. Waited for. To think that all he spoke of was and will be true. What? How did I. <sighs> what did I do? What did you do? You speak as if I pulled some invisible strings. No. You couldn't be further from the truth, child. I simply whispered to the darkness you already held inside. How could I do this? Then! Yes. Now, you want to know where Xehanort went. Well, that I cannot answer. He disappeared into the darkness. But now I know the Keyblade is necessary to gather hearts. Join me. Collect six more hearts of pure light. Then we will rule all the world together! You seem to be mixed up. 
I'm a peacekeeper, not a tyrant. <laughs> For a peacekeeper, you're off to an exceptionally poor start. Remember this. The darkness in your heart cannot be held back by force or strength. Now, my work here is done, as is yours. Wasn't there someone you needed to chase? Wait! The <laughs> unburst. They're gonna bring down the castle. I have to do something. Hey, bro, that kind of Loki your fault though, because you um, you know, you you're you're into darkness and you love power, so. <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyway, there's a chest. It's a stupid map, bro. Okay, yo, I'm not gonna lie. I remember playing this game on the emulator, PPSSPP, and. The the map would not show every time I like enhance the graphics to where it's not pixelated. But yes, we get an attack recipe right there, so that's always gonna be nice. Uh we did get a command, right? We got sleep. Uh that's actually not gonna be good as of right now, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna use that. Um Can we melt? No, we cannot. We got a shimmer and crystal too. Finish the commands. Okay, yeah, different ways, different ones, whenever you level it up. Uh, abilities, yeah, that's it. All right, so let's go. This part is gonna be a doozy. Um, actually, let's check out in here. What's in here? Okay, so I think what's cool is that, like, every time you get stuff in the Moogle shop, uh, I mean, the further you progress through the game, you know, the more stuff you unlock, but. Um, if you mail commands, you can actually buy them in the shop, regardless uh, how far you are into the game. So, it's cool. Or, if you collect a new command in a treasure chest, you can go ahead and buy those from the shop. So, I think it's always cool, because, um, you know, you can buy whatever you want. Uh, of course, you're gonna have to level it up if you're gonna wanna, you know, use it to mail something. So... That's what I really love about this game, because there's so many options, like what you can mail it or what to make. Um, I like it. Some of them are OP, some of them are, you know, fun to use, you know, just for gags. But, uh, yeah. Alright. So, uh, let's get down over here, because there is a disturbance! Did my finisher just really run out? That's crazy. But I'm gonna go ahead. Um, but each time we do progress uh, further into the game, I am gonna actually grind off screen because it's um, I won't be able to just you know progress on through the game. Uh, you know, next world with like my current level stuff because this game will get harder and I'll just be a lot weaker and that's not gonna be fun. So I'll probably level up like about two or three levels. I mean, depending on my stats. So I'm not really you know, too worried about it right now. So yeah, no, I did not mean to use poaching. It's alright though. Yeah. I think that was gonna hit me. It's crazy. All right, come here. Boom! Shaka laka. All right. Um, I'm. You know what? I got five potions. You know, I'm gonna go ahead and use another potion. Okay. All right. Did you say the audience chamber? <laughs> All right, well anyway, we come down here, we have to take out the inverse, and as you see, this is our first boss in the game. Um, this man's pretty scary. Um, so, we're gonna try to focus up, as you see. All right, uh, zero gravity's not gonna really be that helpful, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, probably avoid using it. I should probably guard, because he does that thing. He throws a wheel at you, and now you wanna go and attack it, because, um... It is really good. So he's gonna jump over here. He jumps that far? Hold up. Thank you. If I can hit him with this, this will knock him out. This will knock him out right here. It did not. I hit him in like a little stun thing with Jake. I'm going to heal. I should probably set my potions to a shortcut. Oh my gosh, he's just eating that like a frisbee. You know what I'm gonna do? Let's go. This should probably... It's not gonna destroy it. I don't want to fight you. I want to destroy the wheel because each of these weapons are very deadly. 
Alright, so now since I don't got a lot of focus, I'm gonna have to. Oh! I knocked him out. Let's go. Okay. Oh my god, Cherry, you suck. I missed, so. Give me the HP. You know, I'm gonna ho go ahead and attack you. Okay. I was gonna say, no sense in me trying to chase the wheel whenever I could just be doing free damage against him. Why are you still chasing me? Oh, I don't like this boss. Die, you! I got one potion left. I do got D Link, though. Oh my gosh, that's a scary thing. I don't like when he does that. Jump over. Alright. Yes! Oh my gosh, you're so. No, I don't like this. <laughs> I don't know how to. I should be using my dear. Oh, I actually know because I'm a critical impact, so. Thank you. Destroy that thing. I can probably defeat the boss right here. Chris. Oh, let's go. Woo! Alright, that's clean. Anyway, we uh, increased our deck capacity and we learned Diamond Dust, which is a new command style. It's my fault her light was stolen. It was because I was weak. I'm sorry. I'll get your light back. Once I learn to stand up against the darkness. Why would Master Xehanort imprison the light? The purest hearts of light. Do they hold the answer? <laughs> Seven pure hearts, each completely void of darkness. Such a search may take some time. Alright, after that, we now obtain our first brand new Keyblade, the Fairy Stars. It is a Keyblade that provides a balance boost in strength and magic. Um, I might equip that. I don't know if I usually do, but we're gonna go ahead and see. Okay. Alright, so now after that, we finally unlock a few new worlds. <clears throat> but, we're not gonna do them quite yet. Because that is actually gonna go ahead and be the end of this episode. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching Please hit that like button and also don't forget to subscribe so that way you can be notified But you gotta hit that bell though. So I'll see you guys in the next one. This is Rick Rue. Peace